Okay, hi there guys, I'm Ville and this is Animal Crossing New Horizons and today I'm gonna show you how to get these blue roses, the hardest hybrid flower to get in the whole freaking game. This is the master flower, if you can get this one then you have mastered the gardening. But it can be very hard to get, but no worries, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get these mofos and I call this method, you can see the bare bones version over here. I call this the clone pair method. And if you follow this method, then at the end, you're going to have some oranges with a 25% chance of producing blue. And you're going to have some reds with a 20%, 25% chance of producing blue roses. So this method in the end will give you really good chances of getting blue. You're gonna get the blue. This is not some sort of like mix everything together and you have a one, like a 6% chance to get blue. No, 25% chance to get blue. So this absolutely works. I have a lot of blue roses myself already because I've, I've tried these different methods and this is the combination of all the best practices that I know. This whole method is based on the so-called backwards end method, but I skipped a phase in here making this faster and I added my own clone pair system and that will give you 25% chance and a 25% chance. So that's the basic introduction to this and we're gonna go through this whole process. I'm gonna show you like flower formations, different phases, etc. So let's get to it. Okay, phase one. You're gonna need some white flowers, white roses, and we're gonna put them in this kind of formation. Four in a square, one space apart, four in a square. And you can have as many of these four squares as you want. And these guys are gonna be producing purple. So 25% chance of making purple. This is what you want. And the idea of putting them in this kind of four square formation is that they will always have a pair so they will not duplicate them themselves if you have a flower by itself and you water it uh like here that these guys would do a pair and this is left over in a cycle then it's only gonna make a white a copy of itself so this formation makes sure that these guys never self-duplicate okay so white plus white equals purple then we're gonna need some uh whites and yellows so let's put some yellows over here bam 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 thank you ma'am and white and yellow white and yellow white and yellow white and yellow you put these in pairs pair space pair space space over here pair space pair space and these guys will produce white okay so this white is 0010 genetically, but this white is a special white. It picks up a little bit of yellow gene from this yellow one. And you're going to have 50% chance of getting this special white. So again, have as many of these pairs as you want. And then pick all the whites that appear over here. They can only make this special white as you can see. Then pick all of those and put them to the next phase. And then, finally, we're gonna need some red and yellow Halkamania running wild, brother, for this first stage, okay? So, we're gonna take some yellows, bam, bam, bam. And these guys have a 50% chance of making orange. So, you're gonna be getting some orange out of these guys. So this is, this is basically the end of phase one. You're going to have whites paired up in a four square, one space apart to make purple, white and yellow in pairs, one uh, space apart to make white, and then red and yellow in pairs, one space apart. And of course, you can have more of these. It's just like limited space over here. So have more of these spaces, or these production units and uh, these guys are making orange and you can absolutely put these oranges that come out of here together and they can actually 
together they can make better stronger orange so you can absolutely have them together to produce stronger orange with each other but yeah this is the end of phase one and without all this other hassle it looks like this okay and then we get to the next phase so the purples you get from the whites okay you put the purples in pairs over here okay like this and then you're gonna put the special whites from the white plus yellow you're gonna put these special whites that have a little bit of yellow in them here you pair them up with these purples and what we're gonna get out of these you can see they can make two kinds of purple the normal one and this one that has a little bit of yellow in it okay so you're gonna pair these up like this let's see what do we have zero zero okay we need one more zero so half of them are gonna be this bad one half of them are gonna be this good one but you can't know you cannot know in the game because the game doesn't show you the genetics but it doesn't matter you just put them like here and then you put all your oranges with these guys in pairs like this okay let's give this a little more space so as you can see here okay that doesn't belong there so these guys create two kinds of purple there we go and you put them here you pair them with the oranges you will not see who produces what but what you can see here is the bad one can only produce red and white okay but the good ones they can produce they can produce orange and orange is what you want you want these guys to produce orange so have as many of these pairs as you can you could have them two spaces apart so then you can tell which pair is producing what but because this this phase can take some time i would just mass as many of these special special purples with the oranges and just keep watering these until you get an orange and then we can move on to the next stage this is a different kind of orange as you can see the normal orange is 1100 this special orange you, that you get out of these guys is 1210 so it's growing in strength so yeah this is the end of phase two let's see what it looks like it looks like this purple plus the special white from here white and yellow white so purple and white they create two kinds of purple and then you mix the purple with the orange and half of these will not work half of these can give you an orange and that's what you want this is the end of phase two okay so now on to phase three you have gotten some oranges out of these guys you're gonna take that orange and put it by itself you water this guy and it's gonna clone itself bam okay but don't stop there put the next orange by itself next to this guy one space apart water them both and they're both gonna clone themselves eventually okay put them one space apart keep watering all these guys they will all clone themselves eventually so you're just gonna keep copying these guys as much as you can make more make more water them bam 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 until you have enough and when you have enough then you're gonna start to put these guys in the formations of four like this as you can see here we have a lot of these guys already you could stop with four i would go at least for eight then you have one two three four pairs of these but the more pairs more of these clusters you have then the better uh chance you have of course getting the other flowers that you need 
So this is stage three. When you get one special orange, you just start multi multiplying that orange and every single one you get, you move it one space apart. You just multiply, multiply, multiply these. So you, you've got at least eight of these special oranges. That's what I would do. Because when you have two of these oranges together, and if they make an orange together, then that's gonna that can be a different kind of orange. So don't don't mess these guys up, please. Because that, that can definitely mess mess the whole thing. So just keep multiplying these ones. And if you get anything from these guys, then obviously you can you can add them here as well. But get at least eight of these if you can, total. And then we can add a, a few rows here. Oh, that was the wrong one. That was the wrong one. So here we have some rows added. So special oranges in boxes of four. This is gonna be the end of phase three. This is These are your main production boxes for for the final phase four and it looks something like this okay end of phase three okay and then we get to the final and fourth stage of this method okay so as you can see these special oranges they can make blue already six percent chance but that is not good enough okay so if these guys give you if they give you white or yellow discard if they give you blue then great but only six percent chance however if they give you red or orange you're gonna take all of these guys and put them separately if you get a red you already hit the jackpot okay if you get a red put it by itself wait it to clone itself and there you go you got the jackpot these reds are always really good. This is what you want. And when you pair it with another red of the same kind, it's going to have a 25% chance of making a blue. So there you go. You're almost at the end if you got if you get a red out of these guys then you're almost there. You're almost at the freaking finish line. So if you get a red, then just put it by itself, wait it to clone itself, and bam, there you have a pair, border these, and you're gonna get a blue sooner or later. And if these guys together produce a red, then that is always gonna be the good kind of red as well. So you can take that red and um, you can keep watering it by itself, and well, there you go. Now you have more of these reds that can produce blue. So these, these reds are super good. Okay. But what do you do with the oranges? You have a 12% chance of getting a red. Okay. So it's it might take some time for you to get a freaking red. That's why I'm advocating for you to have a lot of these orange ones over here. So uh, there's also oranges. 56% cha uh, percent chance of getting an orange. And... Uh, do not sleep on these oranges. There's four different kinds. And here's where we get to the clone pair method. So you put these guys one by one. This is what I do personally. You would put down tiling like this or hedge. You can put down hedge too. But you isolate these guys in strips of three. Okay? Strips of three like you can see there's three pieces of land here and they can't grow to the side because there's tile or fence here So you can you can see that they're trapped in their little three boxes and I would mark the end part here with dark soil Okay, mark the end part here with dark soil. That's gonna be the production. So, you know, which one is the production square and you put every orange you get out of these guys, you put them separately by itself in this three box and you water it and it's gonna clone itself, okay? Each one of these guys, it's gonna clone itself. This is the clone pair strategy, what I call the clone pair strategy. So now you have all these four different oranges that you can get out of this production area 
and they each have cloned themselves eventually. You just keep watering the single flower and it will clone itself. So these are now identical pairs. These are clone pairs. And look at what happened here. These guys over here cannot produce blue. These guys over here cannot produce blue. These guys, if, if this pair puts out a red or a white, you know that it's this certain variety 1210, which is the same as this production box 1. So these guys have the same 6% chance of making blue, okay? But look at these guys. This one pair, one out of four, has a 25% chance of making blue. So you, you shouldn't throw the oranges out or add them to these boxes. You want to put them one by one. One by one. Water these guys. Bam, bam, bam. Have them in these sort of three boxes. And one out of four will turn out to be a really good orange that can produce blue. This is actually how I got my first blue roses out of these oranges. I had a few of these orange ones, they were in pairs like this. And they just kept producing orange and I was like, well, what the hell? What do I do with these oranges? Then I put the oranges by themselves, they kept making more orange. And then as time went past, some of the oranges started producing blue. And I currently have two different pairs of these that have produced already three blue roses each pair. So yeah, this is, this is a really good way to get these blue roses. Because if you're waiting for the red ones, it's 12% it's chance. It can take some time. But also getting this orange pair, that's a 12% chance too. So now you have a 25% chance to get... Get a flower that in a pair with itself can produce blue. So definitely use the reds, use the oranges. And what do you do when you get the blue? When a blue finally arrives, let's say a blue arrives here, then you can mark it on the ground over here that, hey, blue, put a blue design, just like a blue color design over here. This pair produced blue, bam. Or if these guys produce red or white, you can put it down here and you know then what's going on, which pair this is. These pairs, you cannot tell if it's what it is. Because they don't have any special color that the others can't produce. So, a blue appears. You're gonna put it by itself, you're gonna water it, and bam. There you go. Now you got more blue. And you can keep these guys together if you want. They have a 100% chance of making blue. Or you can put them separately like this. And they're eventually both gonna clone themselves. You could put them apart like this. Water all of these guys. And they're all gonna produce more blue eventually. So once you get one blue rose, then you're set for life. You're gonna have... A lot of these, they're just gonna keep multiplying till infinity. So that is the clone pair method. How to get some blue roses, guys. This absolutely works. So, and it will give you a 25% chance out of these oranges and 25% chance out of these reds. So that is the end of phase four, how to get a blue rose. So to recap all the stages, in phase one you put whites with whites in four square formation, one space apart to produce purple. You put white with yellow in pairs, one space apart to produce special white. You put red and yellow in pairs, one space apart to produce orange. In stage two, you're gonna put the purple and the special white together in pairs, one space apart, and they can produce two kinds of purple, a bad one and a good one, but you can't tell in the game which one is which. You're gonna put all these special purples here and pair them up with orange flowers. And 
The bad ones can't produce orange, but the good ones can with a 12% chance. So if you get an orange, then bam, there you go, mission accomplished. But because half of these purples cannot produce orange, then I would just put as many of these pairs out there as possible. So you can get this orange eventually. That is the end of stage two. So once you've got your special orange, then we go to stage three. And you put your special orange by itself, water it, and it's gonna clone itself. You put the clone by itself one space apart. You keep watering these guys, they will clone themselves again. And you put these guys separately, keep cloning for more flowers, put the new flowers one space apart, until you have, let's say, eight of these. You can go for more if you want. And these guys, if they produce more oranges, then same thing, put them one space apart here and keep cloning. But when you say, let's say, eight of these special oranges, then you arrange them into these boxes of four, one space apart from the other boxes, okay? And these are in the boxes because that makes sure that uh, all these orange flowers will always pair with another flower. They will never be left out and have to clone themselves. So they will always pair with another flower. And this one is the end of stage three. And then we go to the fourth and final stage. If you get reds out of these guys, you will put the red by itself, water it, and it's gonna clone itself. Bam! And now you have a red pair that has a 25% chance of making blue. So if you get reds out of these oranges, then you're already almost at the finish line. Very good. But if you get oranges out of these guys, then put the oranges by themselves. Carve a little three-piece uh, land for them. And then put tiles in between or put fencing in between. Water these single flowers, they will clone themselves. And one out of four here, one pair out of four, will be the super orange pair that can produce blue with a 25% chance. So don't sleep on these oranges. This might be your ticket to get the blue instead of the red. So have as many of these as you can. But then when you get uh, when you get oranges out of these guys, then don't sleep on these. Put them by themselves. Have them clone themselves and keep watering. And bam, 25% chance of getting a blue. So that's how this works. And then when you get blue, you put it by itself. You water it. It's going to clone itself. Put them one space apart. Keep watering and bam, bam, bam. Blue roses everywhere. So that's how the method works. Okay, so that is the method on how to get blue roses, guys. And two more pointers here at the end. You can absolutely use time travel to speed this up if you want. So... You would have your flowers, you water them, or you have your friend water them, which is going to speed it up even more. And then you save and exit game, you shut the game down, then you go to the switch menu, and you turn the date one day forward. Then you open the game, you go and water everything again, then you save and exit, shut the game down, go and turn the date one day forward, etc. So you can do that sort of thing. Water, save, close, date forward, and do it again. That's going to speed it up. Because when you water these guys, it's going to have a 5% chance to produce. That can take for ages. And then on the fourth day, fourth consecutive day, they will have like a 10% chance to produce. So it will eventually ramp up. But if you're doing it by yourself, it can take a long time. So time travel is definitely something you might want to try. That's what I did. And also, if you have friends that can, can come over to water, then that's going to help as well. As you can see here, and we're at the gardenscience.ac, by the way. This is a flower breeding simulator. Very good information here. They have all the freaking info you need etc. I can definitely recommend this site. Very nice. So 
you can see here that uh, if flowers are watered by visitors, the chance of breeding is increased by every unique visitor. One visitor, one friend or visitor that waters your flowers, it's gonna it's gonna jump to twenty percent chance of producing something immediately when normally it's like five percent. So if you can have someone else come and come water your stuff, especially if you're not time traveling, then you definitely wanna have visitors uh, come and water. And two visitors, it's gonna be thirty percent. Three visitors, forty-five percent. Four visitors, sixty. Five visitors, seventy-five percent. So yeah, the visitors can definitely ramp this up even one. So that is something that you might want to do. But have certain boxes for these guys, put them in certain position and keep them there. So it doesn't reset, reset the watering timer, so to speak. So that was it. How to get some blue roses, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you have your own methods or improvements to this one, leave them down below in the comments as well. If you liked the video, if you thought it was helpful, press the like button, that helps me out. And uh, see you again next time. Have fun and good luck getting your blue roses. If you follow this formula, you are sure to get some blue roses. So good luck and hope you guys get them. So bye bye, thanks for watching. Take care. Boop.